What's up, YouTube? <sighs> I have been trying to make this video for so long. This video I wanted to make about AliExpress items that I have bought. Um, I'm enjoying my matcha right now in one of them, actually. This is probably one of my favorite ones. It is a cat mug. It comes with a cat lid, but it's in the kitchen. And I'm not gonna go grab it right now, but anyways. I really like it. It's been very handy, it's been very useful. When I whisk the matcha, the matcha um, stays put in this cup because of its shape. I really like it. I will be providing the links for each item, but let's get to it. I'm about to go try these items on for you in this big old HelloFresh box. I'm sure TikTok gives you the adverts, so I will not do that to you, but I do recommend it. So I will be right back. The first item on this list are these cute little clips that I found. Um, they're kind of like a replica of what Kylie Jenner uh, was wearing one time and it actually is the reason I purchased them. I really do love pastel pink. If you watch my Twitch streams, you'll kind of notice that that is my thing. <laughs> I use these whenever I want to style my hair or when I want to curl my hair. It's very rare that I do anything to my hair except just add moisturizer, leave-in conditioner, anything of that sort. But these are absolutely adorable and I recommend them, especially for makeup artists. The second item on this list is this ruffle top. This is actually my second one because I damaged the first one. Um, by accidentally putting it with pants that were dyed black and so it ruined the whole shirt so I had to buy another one. The only flaw in this shirt is that the tie-ups I had to cut off because they were falling apart and they were kind of frilling. It was kind of messy so I ended up just cutting them off. It's a staple item in my closet so yeah something to recommend. I have a big thing for renaissance art and I admired the headbands. I guess they're called headbands. I used to know the term, but it was kind of like a crown with like a veil in the back. And I really liked it. And so I wanted something like that to wear, to wear to match like all my black dresses and everything. And this headband is so soft. It doesn't squeeze the sides of my head. I, I really think it's worth it. It's only three bucks, three to eight bucks, or three to four dollars. Okay, now this was probably one of the cutest purchases I've ever made. It's so high quality, so soft. The embroidery is top notch. I bought two of them. I bought the pink one and I bought the uh, gray one. I originally bought the brown one, but they sent me the gray one instead. But it ended up working out because the gray one is just used for like charging cords, uh, adapters, and you know stuff that I just carry around in my backpack. Uh, when I'm on the go. The other one I use for cosmetics. Um, now, I like the pink one a lot more. I take that one with me everywhere. I really recommend it. It's lasted me a long time. This one is so cute. I would recommend it. It does take a bit to come in. All these items take a bit to come in, but it's worth it. Well worth the wait. Okay, so I've always wanted flats that had like a kind of like a Japanese look, like a square shape. Um, around them. These aren't the most comfortable shoes to wear, but they are very stylish. They match just about any outfit I have. Jeans, dresses, I 100% recommend them. They don't have the color that I have now. I double checked for you guys. They had pink ones and I regret not buying them because now they don't even have them. Are also a staple item in my shoe collection. Not a very big shoe collection, but it is my one of my favorite items. Now this shirt, I actually like, I'm, I'm even thinking about probably buying some more and maybe gray uh, or black, but mainly possibly gray and more white ones because this one is ribbed and it is comfortable. It's top quality for the price. This is like a really good one to wear with jeans. I don't wear shorts, so I can't tell you. And I also wear a cardigan on top of it and it looks really nice. It's a very stylish top. So this top, I really like. Uh, the print didn't fade. Um, it is true to size, 
but if you want a looser fit i do recommend going a size up um it is an almighty dupe i assume and i hope i don't get sued for this but i really recommend it especially i mean nobody can tell the difference really um all of these items are obviously copies of other expensive items so i do recommend this top and the link is provided below for this one too now this last item is actually my absolute favorite item in my closet i have two of these because i just never know when one will get damaged or when the other one will fade or whatever but the material looks like it's not even fadeable or whatever I wear this dress out everywhere. I could wear it with tennis shoes, with heels, and my cold and flats, which by the way, fit perfectly. Absolutely love the dress. It's so fitting. Just a sexy fit. I get compliments on it all the time. I do believe that this is a revolve dupe. I'm not sure. It is a tight fitting dress. It's kind of tight on me as well. So I recommend sizing up if you want a looser fit. It's kind of got like the feeling of not stretchy version of swimsuit material i might be wrong but it is very thin and flowy but again don't let that scare you from buying it i'm telling you it's absolutely worth it again i do recommend it and it is still available i really hope that this helped kind of give you a guide of what you could find in aliexpress that really is worth it i really hope that you enjoy this video i really want to hear you know if any of this has helped um i know it's not a lot of items a lot i do have more aliexpress items but the links don't exist anymore they stop selling the items maybe in future videos i can review other stores i do buy from shein i do buy from romwe I buy from other places outside of like stores like that um but yeah i would love to hear what your thoughts were and this kind of opened your eyes that not everything in aliexpress is cheaply made or shitty or whatever leave your comments below and subscribe and let me know what else you want me to review i know i mentioned that but please let me know and thank you